it's been three, four days, and we beat Spider Man Two. You see the title. You know what we're gonna talk about today. It's a spoiler cast for Spider Man Two. It will not be a review discussion like normal because I really do kind of just want to talk about the story here. And I think we all know Spider Man Two shocking was good. So this is just going to be strict spoilers. We're starting right now. So if you don't want spoilers, of course, click away. Alex, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm I'm still on the on the high of platinum. Yeah. Platinum the game and yeah, just we both, chilling. We both platinum in no time at all, really. Like uh, three if days. If you really think about it, yeah, about three days, three play sessions, pretty much for me. Yeah, I put about twenty five hours into the game. I put a, I put about that. My clock says I think thirty two, yeah. but I think I left it on once. You said you left it on, so yeah, I think I left it on for like three to four hours because I think my auto sleep is like around there. So if you take that off, I think I'm twenty eight ish. Who knows? Mm. But I I don't know where to start with this because there's so much I want to talk about with this with Spider Man two, and this is un. Uh, this is um, irregular for our, for me as 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 a host because I usually like to kind of stir the pot a little bit with other conversations, but I really just want to talk about Spider Man Two right now. So, Alex, let's just start with how did you like it? I I I mean I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I want to say I I like I loved I loved it, but there's certain things where I'm like, okay. But like I like I had a lot of fun. I think to put it kind of plainly, and then of course we'll expound throughout the hour plus episode we have ahead of us. Mm-hmm. This is to me better in almost every way to the first one, which in mm-hmm. terms of a sequel is a plus, like you know a yeah achievement. Correct. But there are very specific, very not nitpicky. I would say because they're not small, but. There are problems I have, especially with some of the writing near the end of the game, that when I beat the game and everything was said and done, it kind of let me like, hmm, I feel like we were a bit safe in a lot of areas. Um, And (sighs) let's just kind of jump into that. Now, before we do this, just in case this is your first episode with us, uh, a quick background. I have both platinum and beaten every other Spider-Man before this, so I am very familiar with the characters and the story. Alex, you have as well, correct? Right. Yeah, so Spider-Man 1, Miles Morales, both platinum. Mm. I've played a few other of the Spider-Man games. Amazing Spider-Man, of course, 1 and 2 uh, for 360 was actually, like, really good. I feel like people, like, were dogging on that back look, in the day. I liked look, Web of Shadows, Edge of Time, awesome games. Edge, Edge of Time, uh, Shattered Dimensions, of course, always great. Shattered Dimensions, that's, yeah. Shattered Dimensions was, of course, the, the better one. Uh, unimportant. Anyways, we know what we're talking about, I feel like. Mm. So, that, that all being said... Uh, I I guess I'm just gonna start where with with because I really do want to talk about what I didn't like mm. because the, overall the game was great for me I loved everything about it I think it is better than the first game in a lot of ways especially pacing um, yeah. I actually am in a very unique position my wife is starting her Spider Man journey she just oh, started Spider Man one uh, today so she is a couple hours into that I've been watching her play it's been very fun. Mm-hmm. And already I'm seeing like, wow, they did really improve a lot of things with the opening of Spider-Man by itself with like quickly getting you into like so many little mini games and like the, the, the police towers and things. So this game's pacing was, I feel like, very, very, very good and very strong. I think that's actually one of the best parts of the game is when yeah. it's and when it gets that ramp up, it really does kind of commit and it does really show you how good it feels to be Spider-Man and also be, of course, this venom symbiote spider-man and of course you do have the probably the best part in the game if you actually playing venom but mm-hmm. i'm stalling let me get to my actual point here it almost feels like where we started the game is where we end the game in a lot of ways now obviously with the character harry it's like completely transformed and spider-man is transformed in a lot of ways as well but i don't know when we started spider-man 2 it just when i finished the game i was like well what kind of changed it kind of just seems like harry is still sick kind of right there was no resolve uh it doesn't yeah it didn't seem like we resolved a lot of things we we resolved venom i guess as a symbiote so we like introduced and resolved the same problem and you know the same thing which is fine yeah as well we did that with spider-man 1 as well kind of we 
introduced Oct and you know finished it all in one game too. But I don't know. It just it it felt like um it felt like a pretty safe Spider Man story. To be honest with you, which is not bad. I'm not saying any of that is a bad thing. It just once once Harry came back alive, I was like, wow. So we really we really wanted this to be like super safe, like, you know, yeah. no, no, no major deaths, which I'm not saying you have to have a major death to be a good story, but it just there wasn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel like, feel a like lot it of was happening, missing... especially especially when we think about the Aunt main scene in the first game mm-hmm. and how powerful that was. That really moved me when well, I played the game for the first time. I was going to say. I felt like it was missing something the same way Ragnarok was missing something versus mm. its 2018 counterpart, you know, I mean, slight for people, spoilers you know, or you yeah, sli- spoil something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Slight spoilers. 2018 okay. God of War. OK, yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. 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 I mean, the when you get the blades, you know, oh, OK, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, you know, you get that sense uh, like that. That's that's the scene, you know, in 20 and uh, the Ragnarok. Don't really get that feeling anywhere. Mm. Um, and then with Spider Man, you get the amazing. You know, it's very emotional. You're like, oh, very. you know, it's so heartbroken, but it's so like emotions everywhere. This one, I didn't really get that. Yeah, I, there was no real point I can. I was waiting that. for it, and I yeah, no, it just kind of feel like, and I did feel that a little bit with actually the Martin and Miles scene. I did kind of get that yeah. a little bit where he's like, look, man, I can't forgive you, but I can't hate. And he almost is like about to cry. It sounds like mm-hmm. he was like, I can't hate you forever. And I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. And that was a very powerful scene. Honestly, and I, I would if I'd rather have. No, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's just to quickly finish. Yeah, if yeah. I had to point to one of the best scenes in the game, it probably would be that one with, of course, the acting yeah. and the emotional weight of that specific scene. Of course, we see Miles throughout the entire game struggling with Martin as the character still being kind of involved in the story, still being a thing. Mm-hmm. Although I feel like we didn't see a lot of that in Miles Morales, but you know, I guess we, we, you know, we see it now because he's freed and all that. And mm-hmm. you know, he's not in jail anymore. So he feels almost like he has to do something about it, I guess, which makes sense. Cause of course mm-hmm. he killed his father, but that was almost, you know, that was like almost there, but didn't quite, yeah. didn't quite pass it. And, and I guess in this one, you can point to, of course, like the relationship with Harry being pretty much like, I mean, it was moving what was happening with Harry, where where you quickly get to talk to him. And he's like, you have to do it, you know, and then he's mm-hmm. and then he says the last words like heal the world. And in that specific context, you know, when you're fighting him as he's Venom, that specific mm-hmm. context was very cool, because, of course, he's like saying he keeps saying heal the ward as Venom the whole time. And in that one, he's actually saying, like, heal the ward isn't killing him, which is that was also strong, too. But we just didn't. I don't know. We didn't. It didn't. Nothing really hit it me didn't emotionally uh, in this game, like strongly as the first one did. Honestly, and in Miles yeah, Morales, the- actually. Sorry, I keep I keep a no, no, you're good, nonsense you're good, you're here. Good. But in Miles Morales, just to quickly note. Uh, I would argue the Finn resolution in Miles yeah. Morales was also stronger than than uh, any of the scenes in yeah. this one, too, because of how that situation was handled and how he was like banding with his like community and how they kind of bonded a little bit over that. I don't know. Mm. What did what do you think about everything I'm, I'm kind of saying? Here? I no, I agree. But I, I like out of all of that, those two scenes, like, you know, the Martin Lee scene and the whole heal the world scene, I feel like I would have got I would have taken one of them being a death scene mm. like martin lee sacrificing himself to say yeah. to help miles and peter and be like and then he's probably dying in miles's arms he'd be like hey i sorry pretty much what i did to your father Some, i know you can't forget he says me. something he, this or, is yeah 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 it pretty much is on a, this is the only way i could think of you know helping myself you know or i don't know hey, i thought or, that's how that was happening by the way when i saw i, it, I, I was I like thought, yeah when he because, said he, he had to put all his power in, I thought he was going to die. And he would be like, he's saving Peter and he's sacrificing himself. That's pretty cool. And that would but, kind of not 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 fix what he did, but like at least a tone. Yeah, that, as that's like what bringing I'm back for, a tone for what he's bringing did. back like a Spider-Man, you know, of course. Uh, Yuri actually, uh, of course, the Wraith in this game, which I do like. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, I, when I uh, was 
uh, it was funny when I saw the Wraith character, I was like, how many people didn't play the Spider-Man DLC and are seeing Yuri as the Wraith and are like, what? What is happening? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I imagine the play rate of the DLC is very low, but I don't know. Anyway, that's that's not uh, really relevant. But, but um, Yuri says a very interesting thing where, although it didn't seem like where this that character was going with that specific scene where it unveils that she killed somebody in mm-hmm. Spider-Man DLC. But she did say, like, I'm not killing to kill. I'm killing to save lives. So, like, it's all a numbers game to her. That's why yeah. she was able to justify uh, one uh, saving Peter over killing. Uh, I'm just going to say Carnage um, yeah. over killing uh, the Carnage character. Because to her, it's like, it's just math. I, I'm he, I'm in the game to save as many people as possible. Saving Spider-Man saves the most people. And I almost kind of felt mm. that could have been, like, realized through Martin's sacrifice almost. And, and, yeah. and of course, he killed I mean, all those people in the bombings in the first game. But I, yeah. feel like, I feel like that is a good point that you bring up, that, like, Martin sacrificed. I would have taken, like I said, I would have taken thing. him as that, and I felt like I would have felt through that. Or, yeah, honestly... I don't know. I don't think I would have been disappointed, but I feel like if they would have killed Peter right there, he that he would sacrifice himself with Venom and Harry. Like they healed the world together, they sacrificed mm. together, and then of course you know Miles becomes the only Spider Man, yeah. but he winds up fixing everything. Like I would have taken that, and I would have been like, "Ooh, I felt that," and that was a good end. Like like Regu- it's a death, but regular achievers would know that that was my prophecy since they announced this game. I thought. Mm-hmm we would get a mirroring of the Ant May scene in the first game. Mm-hmm. In this game, with Miles being the replacement for Peter, and of course Peter being the Ant May in the situation. Yep. I thought it'd be, I Spider-Man thought we would now, get a like, I thought that would almost foreshadow what we get in this one, and this would be propelling Miles to push forward into being the Spider Man and not a yeah. Spider Man. And yeah. that is not what we got. We got a much safer version of what I imagined. I really did think we were guaranteed a major death, whether it being Harry, Peter. We got I don't think death. Miles was Other ever on Craven. the table. And yeah, good point. And we got Craven, Scorpion, and Vulture. That's the three like deaths where I'm like, okay, cool. When they killed Scorpion, I was like, damn, am I supposed to be like, <gasps> they yeah. they had such a they made it such a big dumb like it's yeah, when they Scorpion. Raised, when he literally just like snapped his neck, I was like, damn, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, all right. This is uh, like, cool. on, thought, and I'm like well, also just, Vulture I, dies off screen, which off is screen. hilarious. Give a which fuck is, about him. Which, yeah, I know, right? They were like, and the Vulture died. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's it's funny because they like there's like some scenes where like they show like the Sinister Six pretty much, but then they show yeah. Electro. Yeah. What happened to that motherfucker? I don't remember uh, what happened to him. Uh, he wasn't. He didn't escape somewhere, so he's in the raft, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I mean, I don't think he was captured. I don't believe. Okay. I don't remember um, seeing uh, his stuff anywhere, seeing any writing. I saw yeah, that he was. Uh, there anything. was. I think I saw a picture of him on a cage. So maybe hmm. he was captured, but maybe he. I don't yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know because that's right the, in the comments I, if you know. But they didn't even show him like in the scene where uh, the guy, the hunter, is showing Craven's like, oh, maybe we need to change scenery. When they show yeah. Black Cat, they show yeah. everybody. They don't ever show Electro. They just show the other people that they've seen, like Scorpion, they show, uh, Spider-Man. Someone that only we, never, we, we never came across, Prowler. He was in that, and we never... Nothing ever happened with that. He was in that I'm picture. Sorry. He was in those oh, pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. That was never even brought up. I imagine because there yeah, is no Prowler. So, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming because there wasn't a Prowler to get. You know, they, yeah. it's not like they don't they know it, it was Aaron. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, Miles' Unk. uncle. It's not like they, yeah, Unk, they it's not like they knew it was him. So I guess that makes sense why they couldn't find him. Um, so I yeah. guess I answered my own kind of statement there. But I don't know. Um, it sounds like I'm I'm down on the game. I'm not. It's just it's not what I expected, especially since yeah. since we got first and the first game and Miles and then we go into two. It just seems like we were like, hey, I was ex- I was just, it was it was expected. Yeah, like, I was like expecting something, but then I, I mean, they just took they took a, li- a little safe, and I was kind of kind of like, mm. yeah, yeah, took a little safe turn there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like uh, I I was talking with you a little about it after you finished. I, I we were talking on the phone, and I was like, it felt like a comic book. It felt like I picked up a volume, I read through it, and at the end, no one you know no one dies because we got to keep making comic ending. books. So, yeah, so we we got to keep making comic books, and no one died. 
uh, you know, a couple, all, you know, off character people, you know, might might have died, and, and you, and then we we go to the next issue. That's kind of what it feels like. And of course, in the post credit scene, we we get in this game, which, which to me, by the way, tells me they have they don't really know what they're gonna do, or at least mm-hmm. don't want to hint at it because that that post credit was like no information really given. They oh, gave us at all. They gave us like prep the g serum <laughs> like oh okay i get where that's it's, going right yeah it's uh, yeah the goblin serum uh, green okay. goblin yeah uh, i get it wink you know big wink yeah. and then and then the mid credit where he goes to talk to doc ock which i did love the conversation between the two because they have so much mm-hmm. history together yeah and um you know you get him like getting up like stumbling because of the sickness and he, he just goes mm. good when he tells him like harry's hurt and he wants to know what the, who the spider-man are yeah he's like maybe you know you'll understand lost now or yeah something. yeah and maybe you understand lost and then in, in a very <laughs> to me the the scene read so awkwardly when he just goes what are you writing <laughs> like it's it just, it, just oh, said, sure. it felt really weird i was it's like, like it's like he literally just told you good that your son's dying and be like Hey, so what you're writing? It, it felt like when you're in the elevator and you feel like you have to say something to somebody just to be nice. So you're like, how's your day? Mm-hmm. It kind of felt like that where he was just like. So what are you writing? So what, so, you're writing? So, so what you're writing? <laughs> and, yeah, and then he, that was a little weird. And then he's like, the final like, chapter. <laughs> yeah. I was like, OK, I, 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 cool. I'm ex- again excited. But the reason I'm shitting on the game is because I have such high acclaim for it such a high acclaim for it i love it so much that it it surprises me that it let me down in some ways no yeah like i mean like that's the thing like they did so many things right with this one versus the first one so like i think in i think in literally every way this game is better than the first one but uh but then certain things like Eh, you know the endings and then the post credit scenes even in the first game we we got more feeling with that one oh you know the the dude it, Harry was in the tank and you just see the yep. venom hand like that <laughs> hand. was so good Ooh. compared to what we got. Ooh. That was because we it's like obviously we we know we know what's venom, happening. Like yeah. it's exciting. Like me hearing repair the G serum. Okay, Green Goblin. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. Okay, right. we've been waiting since we saw Norman. Yeah, like, you been, know, who's, I thought so. he was gonna be in this game. I thought there was gonna be more of a preparation for him being goblin in this game not just mm-hmm. at the end him going the goblin serum also why does he hate the spider-man i guess he knows that he they that they got rid of venom but also he knew yeah. he was taking so over the city he so told that's them. the best save my son that's the only way to save the bitch yeah is well, to take this si- what did he expect understand. out of that situation yeah this is like the best he's... case scenario he revived them yeah he's alive the though Marvel that's revived him but what, what my thing is, he's revived. He isn't dying from the sickness, seemingly. I, I mean, because he doesn't look sick in the when he's laying in the bed, and it's been a few days. You assume. So, well, I thought he's. I thought didn't did they say he was in a coma? Yeah. Or no. Well, no, okay. they say he's in a coma. Yeah, but yeah. like that doesn't stop the illness, right? So I mean, no, no. So he's still sick. He's still dying. He, or maybe he isn't. I don't I don't know that isn't really resolved right I mean Venom at no point is it told to us that he's he cured the the cure no no it it didn't cure it didn't cure it It, like once Venom symbiote was off of him yeah once the Venom was off of him the sickness came back yeah yeah so it actively fought the sickness so assumably it's still with him so is this I'm assuming the G serum is to last ditch effort try to save his life because he was dying in a couple days without the venom. It, it, mm-hmm. I believe the whole game only lasts a week or something like that. Like the whole mm-hmm. game takes place in like a week and a half or something like that. What's weird too, uh, I think Peter like wore the symbiote just as long as Harry did, may if not longer, I, or or, or uh, Harry wore it longer. So I know I know where you're going with this. I think it was like growing stronger through both through Harry the spider and stuff. and I I feel like Peter messed it up with like yeah as soon as he touched it it just got even stronger and it I, just what I think it like gained some sort of okay I, I as think soon it gained as it, like he spider powers him, he got, and stuff and well as soon as he touched it age of Ven- or he touched age of venom or whatever remember yeah, he yeah, got yeah, the white yeah, symbol and he was mm-hmm. like whoa what did you just do yeah so he, yeah he was I wonder what that was about it. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh-huh. I, I, I was. Sure it was 
It was to show that it, 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 well, that and it was, it, it, it was growing stronger. So it, it, it was starting to change because of the power. Mm. It's like, oh, I like this power, okay. so I started changing. That's how I got for me. I'm like, oh shit, don't let him touch it because it looks like he's gonna get stronger if you keep yeah, letting him touch it. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like it became hungrier or something. Yeah, or maybe pretty much. it, or maybe it like amplifies the dark aspects of the character. Because of course, in in like the comics and stuff, it's meant to like pull out like your dark urges, I believe, or something like that. And mm -hmm. it wants to peripherate. It like that's it comes from like a planet that it's just symbiote. Like it's just that mm -hmm. thing like everywhere. So it just wants to be one organism. So I understand like that's the end goal for the thing. But I just I don't know. It wasn't obvious why it was getting stronger. I'm assuming it got stronger because of Peter. It was like, yeah, yeah. In some I think it way, it, was it, was, it, it tasted its power, his power. Yeah. And he was and they were like, oh, I want more of that. Yeah, yeah. Let's get in. I assume feeding off it in some way, because oh, yeah. I do think it, at some point it does say like it, it was it's like growing in strength as he uses it or something mm -hmm. I, I think there was some i think it was like an audio log in the lab that said something about that, that i think it was, it was like, like the longer he kept it on it was good it was getting stronger something and I then as soon as it got back to harry it just completely changed because it was like oh was cool. well it like evolved because if it's felt that power and it knows what it got so that's why it became venom it's so cool and that was so cool and then you get to play as venom are you kidding me in that yep. scene? As oh. soon as he literally just put his hand out and you see the 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 thing, the uh, the symbiote slowly grow to him. And it, I was like, oh, here it is. And then and oh, so we'll talk about Harry being Venom right after I talk about how cool this was. So this is probably the, oh, like <laughs> playing like Venom, the coolest part of the game is just playing as Venom yeah. and getting to just wreak havoc in Oscar rampage just through the Oscorp. Oscorp. Yeah, completely destroy everything and anyone around you. You are immune, invincible, picking people up, hulking them around. Like, it was like the best Hulk game we've ever played. <laughs> and we mm -hmm. played as Venom. Like, just I, my favorite part, picking someone up, throwing them at someone else, picking them up, yep. doing the, I don't know if you did this, but the finisher where he picks them up and then just breaks them in half and Sna drops them on the snaps, ground. <laughs> I was like, back. Yeah. I'm over here like, this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, this is awesome. You, you know, you really felt yep. like a, villain like you have to play as a, a villain for a little bit yeah i love i love that yeah. I, I oh no yeah for sure like I, I i loved everything about it and then you charging through this building like it like it was so cool and to quickly bring up um since we're kind of moving into uh craven being involved i was going to talk about harry being venom but i actually want to quickly go into craven because that's the scene we get right after of course gaining mm -hmm. control of venom you get to fight craven I was very skeptical on how they would handle the Craven character because to me he's just not very interesting. Uh, everything mm -hmm. I've read with him in it, everything I've seen him in it, you know, the cartoons to the comic books to graphic novels, all the things I've just read, I've just never been super into Craven. His thing was like, I like hunting people, and that's pretty much as deep as it gets in most mm -hmm. things. And in this game, I feel like they handled it a lot better. I actually did care about him. I've really felt that he did care about this whole ancestral hunts part of him that he loved to do that he loved the hunt and he wanted to prove all of his ancestors it wrong. was almost like a religion of him yeah him. yeah like pretty much i mean that's how they lived and then he had this mm -hmm. like group or tribe or mercenaries whatever you want to call them that like had his back and also believed in him and believed in the hunt and were, and was trying to get him to this ultimate goal of his last hunt which i thought was even cooler like everyone was kind of in you, know, you you hear the people talking they were all they all understood mm -hmm. like do you think this is the last hunt for Craven? like is this the one where he's gonna die and you know someone would be like ah no it you know I, i've said it 10 10 times already like it's not i don't think it's happening now and it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like he hid his cancer from them because i'm assuming they know why he wants to die uh so of course and of course he had cancer now i had the wild theory alex when we found out he had cancer that was the easy way for him to get the Venom suit. I don't know if that was meant for to be a fake out. But of course, I think so. Since the Venom wants to go to strong people that are also hurt, which seems like that was told to us from um, uh, the lizard. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Connors. Dr. Connors. Thank you. Uh, I believe he said that he's like, oh, was he hurt? And oh, no, he was, you know, it senses like strength, but also mm -hmm pain so i guess it goes when they're I, weak so they can so we can get stuff from them 
and I, that's how I thought they were going to handle it. like, oh, okay, so Venom might be Craven then because they might be fighting and it's like, oh, wait, no, I like Craven. He kills people and he has cancer, so he's going to be an easy, easier subdue, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I thought that's exactly what we were going to go with. And I, I, I like you said, I, I do think it was pretty much a fake out. Yeah, because like literally the whole time when we first saw that post, that end credit scene in the first one, it's like, oh, Harry's in the in the tank. Oh shit! So it's the Venom's thing. It's like it's Harry Venom. Yeah, literally, that's what we stuck with until the game was slowly to release. It was like, there's no way Harry's Venom. It has to be somebody else. I, I so I it, just out and that's and that's what it was. And I and my reasoning for that, Alex, was like, what is our Doc Ock moment, right? If we all remember from Spider Man One's marketing, they thoroughly spoiled the game as much as they physically could. But one thing they never spoiled was the Doc Ock thing. I think until like the launch trailer, they might have spoiled it there too. I don't know. But they kept that mm-hmm. hidden throughout the entire, all the market. They showed everyone else, the Vulture, Electro, uh, everyone. They, you know, It was like a revolving door. Every commercial showing the Sinister Five, right? And, and, mm-hmm. and, not, and then the sixth character not really being known. And then we see him at the very minute one of the game. It's it's Doc Ock. I was like, okay, so what's that in this game? What is the Doc Ock scene in this game? What is the big surprise that none of us see coming? There isn't one, right? I mean, there. I don't think there's a single thing I can point to that really kind of threw me for a loop. No, I mean, like I said, we, like I had so many. We knew he reasonings. was going to be symbiote. Like there, there really isn't. Really much, yeah, no. Much. The only thing I, I mean, because I, I was like, it, it could be Harry to keep him alive. I was like, and then, it, and then Miles started getting jealous and angry, and I was like, oh, could it be Miles? But I was like, mm, I don't know. And then Peter got it, and then I'm like, well, it can't be Miles because they've kind of the trailer show, you know, they kind of have him. They're fighting Venom. You know, Miles yeah. and Peter, so it has to be. I was like, and then I went to Craven. I was like, Craven's the only one I could think of. Craven's um, pretty much the only thing. Now, I think one. I never. Argue... I honestly, I forgot about Harry. That it would have could have been him. And then he changed to fucking Angel Venom. Something that that, and I thought that was cool. And I hated that it didn't last that long. I did wish it was yeah. a little longer. And uh, we can get to length in a little bit. Huh, get it. Now, I think one can argue there is one scene that does kind of get that Doc Ock sense. And I actually mm. kind of would agree. I think now that I'm thinking about it. Now, you were spoiled on this, unfortunately. Uh, you were scrolling through the Facebook of all things and you were spoiled. Of course, Mary Jane being scream, which mm-hmm. is not a very prominent character. I imagine most people have no idea who that was when they came up. They were like, yeah. Oh my God, Mary Jane has a symbiote scream is a whole different thing. It was not usually, uh, or I think ever has been Mary Jane, but I thought it no, was very cool that they made Mary Jane scream. Cause one, it makes sense. She does a lot of her, uh, character through her, through her voice. So yeah. she's a, she's a very uh, all almost every iteration of Mary Jane it, it uses her her voice to the nth degree. She's almost the whole thing that keeps Spider Man together. Pretty much is is her words, mm-hmm. and you know it was almost fitting that she is scream. And I thought that was a very very I I was like whoa I I very much didn't see that coming. I thought that was very cool. Another reasoning of a very safe scene because we just kind of talk her out of it pretty much and she rips it off again all of this is so cool i'm not degrading yeah. the scene this is all sick she takes it off rips it off very cool i love mary jane i think this is mary jane is actually a very strong version of mary jane in a lot of different books now mm-hmm. some comic books i think nail it better but this is a very very strong version of mary jane of course backed by laura bailey which i adore her voice acting she's always great in everything she's in mm-hmm. I know I like the design too for Scream Liz because yes. Mary Jane was wearing the yellow sweater with the red hair, and then yeah. when they, she turned Scream, she was like yellow and red mm-hmm. with the long, the and long like, oh, red she hair. So cool. Yeah, she did. The, the design was good. And shout out to just the design of the whole game, really. I mean, I feel Dude, like this the design the team is design is out of out oh, of awesome. No, no, the way it even went through the whole city in my head, I'm just like how is there so much symbiote and then i realized that there was the stone yeah the I'm stone like, was amplifying him i guess it, it never the really stone got... creates symbiote yeah okay good point it's what yeah. it's what, this, it's, it's what it said right. that's right i forgot about that yeah so he and he's able to amplify it like while holding mm-hmm. it i guess and like creates more and more yeah which is, all right cool do you yeah where do we go from here 
I don't know. Anything you want to discuss uh, before we move on? Uh, we, of course, we touched on Mary Jane, the Craven Death. We didn't even talk about the Craven Death. Um, very yeah. quickly, I did love how they handled that. Um, I don't know if you caught this, Alex, but in s- some of the audio logs, and I believe I don't think this was during the story, so I feel like you would have had to have done some side stuff to do this. Yeah. But Craven wanted to die in a field surrounded by. Uh, oh, God. Um, so it was he wanted he wanted to die in a field. Mm-hmm. While the blood ran away, uh, while his blood hit the ground uh, with these uh, failures of his ancestors, while the fire engulfs his body. And I love the little design touches they did, because, of course, there was fire around when he was dying in Venom. Venom, mm. of course, kills him. He thanks him, by the way, which, again, that all of that was great. He, he was so mm. excited. I love that he wanted to die, but also... Would like not died, go out. He died as a warrior. Yeah. yeah. And I love that he's like, uh, uh, I think Venom says, like, if you want to die, why don't you die? And he goes, because death needs to earn me or something like that. I was like, oh, my God, this guy is so awesome. Like, And um, he gets his face ripped off pretty much. And mm. he, die, he He drops in the billboard that they like land him on is a field mm. of uh, like sunflowers. And there's flames coming up to him. And I don't know, just that little touch with that ca- mm. uh, character was, I think, the perfect death slash send off for mm. him. And then his head gets bitten off and that's where the blood is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's the blood. But so just to wrap that up, I did love that. I loved how they handled Craven in this game. Mm-hmm. I like that they made a uh, Sandman kind of a good guy. Like they, they was it wasn't his fault that yeah, he they, was going nuts. Yeah, they kind they kind of do that a lot too. I feel like in in both the comics too because they his I believe his origin he is, cares for his daughter. I was about to say I believe his origin almost always is his daughter is sick and he mm-hmm. can't do anything. Else. He's not like he has yeah. other skills. He is a robbing. He's a thief, and then he yeah. gets these sand powers and he's like, I need to get her money. <laughs> so yeah. like you know he goes and he gets. He does a job, so it is. He's always been a uh, a dad. He, he's always been a dad. He's always been like a sympathetic <laughs> character, you, you know, because yeah. his, his, his daughter's sick. And I did love finding his Marco. memories. I yeah. loved finding his memories, and, and they create a hearing statue. Him. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I didn't, I didn't know that's where we were going. It was a pleasant surprise that he left mm-hmm. it on the on the thing for him, and uh, he mm-hmm. told Marco, "Is like, hey, I'll I'll deliver it to her, and I'll see if we can set up visits for you." Which was, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. It, it, we'll get to it in a second, but I think this game handles missions much, much better than the first one. Oh, for sure. I was literally going to mention that earlier. And you nice know what? Did. Let's just jump into it now. I like, yeah, I like natural rid of a bunch of the better. bullshit. So yeah, thank you, Alex, for, for bringing that up. It's going to segue perfectly into something right after this. The missions, I think, in this game, bravo. I mean, bravo, Insomniac. That is taking feedback and using it to your best ability. What was my main problem with Spider-Man 1? Bloat, bloat, bloat. Too many crimes. Too many. <laughs> too... <laughs> yeah, sure. Too many crimes. Just a lot of too much of the of good stuff. There was too yeah, yeah. many things going on. It was like you needed like that six to eight of each thing in every district. Of there so were much. three different crimes, seven different places there were like the sables all there, was, that shit. there was like 12 uh side missions you never cared about any of them except like two oh, of them where you have to get pigeons it. and the and what they did with this one is every every single thing you do as spider-man really does feel polished mm. and well done i i really do feel yeah. that way i think everything you do as spider-man feels good to do has compelling writing and always feels necessary to when I'm doing it. So the pacing is always nice. Mm. Uh, there's always, every now and then there's some brevity. I mean, there was only, I believe, three of the random side missions from the app thing. Mm-hmm. And then there was the burn. Oh, you talking, talking about you talking about you talking about the f- the f- friendly, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Spider-Man app? There was yeah. there were six. There were six. Thank you. There were six, yes. and then. Uh, the burn missions, the experiments, yeah. and then what was Miles's thing? Oh my god, uh, he, had a he, side did, quest. he did. What was that? He did, did the, he the the museum, the yes. music museum. Thing. Yes, probably the best side quest maybe in the game. 
uh, was the museum thing with how with how with how it ended. It was just very nice. Yeah. Uh, with the museum walkthrough, and you could read actual pieces, and and everything was mm-hmm. real. It was very cool. The pacing, the way everything was made, there's no bloat. Again, I'm I'm watching Spider Man one right now. I'm looking at this map. There's so much to do, and mm-hmm. it's not of quality, which is the which was the problem. A lot of it was there. It's like, hey, we need we need some extra work. You know, we need some play time. So like, here, add some there. You know, add some, add some there. And this is just everything we've added was intentional, and I really do think is very good. I don't think it. I honestly do not think this game is actually too long or too short. I think it really hits that perfect mark. Yeah. And Alex, that brings me to my next question. This is a burning thing that a lot of people are saying, and it's something I just do not agree with. Maybe you agree with. I don't know. Is Spider-Man too too short? What do you think? No, no, okay. I don't think it's too short at all. I think it's I think it's just right to be I honest. Just, I, I think I literally twenty five hours, thirty hours. I feel like forty hours was a, would have been a bit too long. I feel like it would have been dragging it. Twenty hours, I think it would it was probably cutting it a little short. Yeah, twenty five to thirty, perfect. I think it really did. I mean, I really do think it it hit that sweet like, point. Yeah, like I mean, I made I was able to manage and do everything back to back. So I was like, I did all the I was doing all the districts, having fun with it. I was yep. like, oh, let me do some main quests. After I did a main quest, I'm like, oh, another side quest popped up that was connected to that. Like the end, you know, you don't get the last EMF until you do the ending. Do the ending, which yeah. is perfect because it connects. It's like it's not just a random EMF. Very it with it. a very nice goodbye, I think, too, to kind of the yeah. game, sort of. You know, yeah. like I, that was kind of the last thing I kind I did. I think I had to do. Oh, I went to uh, Aunt May's grave after that. Mm-hmm. So that, I, mm-hmm. that was a pretty good goodbye for me, too. But yeah, the, that was like a perfect way of kind of ending the game. I think that's almost a perfect way to end it there. Like if that's the last thing you do and then you turn the game off, I think that's perfect. Like you just kind of imagine yeah. like, you know, and then he goes and tries and, you know, helps with the drones and all of that. And yeah, and you can kind of, you know, headcan your way to whatever Peter does. Next, but I do. I saw this rhetoric around the the usual Twitter gaming sphere, and I don't know. I just don't. I can't. I can't jive with that. Yeah. There are games that forty hours is perfect. I play. Listen, I want everyone look me in the eyes, right now. Right, I've played Persona Five twice. I have played Persona Nine, Four Golden <laughs> twice. Ninety hours. Those are about a hundred hours each. Mm-hmm. Don't come at me with what's too long, too short. All right, I know what deserves the length, what does not. Persona, Witcher, one hundred and twenty hours. I think, uh, I think well, how, well, I think Witcher was sixty for me. I can't quite remember. It might have been eighty. Um, I don't know. I must have left it on because it says that I ha- I have one hundred and twenty something hours in Witcher. I'd have to check. I actually don't know my Witcher clock. Skyrim it probably is around eighty. Definitely. I oh, Skyrim. I think, oh my god. Skyrim was like one hundred and eighty hours. That was. I, yeah, because I played it twice. My first one, mm-hmm. I think, was 100, and then my second one was 60, I think. So, like, I'm mm-hmm. probably close to, like, 182. Uh, anyways, um, so I, I'm not coming to you with, like, I'm only playing 10-hour, 20-hour games, all right? Mm. But this game is perfect at its length. The What you're doing, yeah. the way the game was paced, I really do feel like you add an, an extra 5, 10 hours, you fuck it up. I really do yeah. think you like, I mean, like, messed yeah, up. Like, in my head, I'm like, what would you do in 5, 10 hours, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, some base that I don't care about or something like I, yeah. like everything was added with intention and it made sense. Every side quest I did, yeah. it didn't feel weird when I was saving uh, or uh, when I was figuring out the dog problem that the old lady have. And I was getting uh, I was oh, like figuring was cool out what that was. That was yeah. a cool one. But yeah, you add two side quests. I might not care about those now and I might not remember them. Yeah. But I remember just about every side quest in this game because it was well written. Yeah, it was paced well and. I don't know. I just can't. Yeah, once they start dragging that... things out, is where you, you know, you're gonna lose me. So like, mm-hmm. don't drag it. Yeah, I'm ha- happy to to spend the money. I actually, like, I, I got the like. I'm so glad. Remember, like my statue. I'm so glad even place. with Howard. Uh, that that oh. that, uh, that 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 mission is like instead of you having to uh, the, instead of them adding collect all the pigeons and then come back and then let and take them all to a thing. No, fuck that. Just well, they're all right here. Howard is like, hey. Being all sentimental, go yeah. yeah, go do a favor. Send him, my, send him over here. He tries to come back, and Howard has passed away. Oh, I'm like, it's it was such a great mission. My wife was with me with that one, and um, we we're over there. We we know we it's it's just like they did in um, 
I think the movie was Coco. Uh, oh, I, won't, I won't spoil it, but we all know what's going to happen at the end of the movie, right? Mm-hmm. It's obvious. Obvious. Just like this side mission. It is obvious Harold is going to pass away. Howard. I still... Oh, I did say Harold. I'm sorry, Howard. And I still cried when I found, when I came back. I was, I yeah, I know, right? I'm grieving this man, and I don't even remember his name. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, Hermione. When I got back to Hermione, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, when he when he was passed, I'm still I still dude still cried. I knew we all know what's happening, there. dude. As soon as the mission started, and he was sitting there. And he was like, you see those two yeah, pillars he's not, over there? Yeah, and he's oh, not really... Oh, no, he's reminiscing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. oh. He brings like, his no, wife. Oh, don't do this to me. Fucking Rose? Let, uh, Rosa? Was that her name? What was his wife's name? I think it was oh Rosa, my God. right? Let me see. I think I'm, I'm almost positive it was Rosa. Just do Hiro's wife while you do that. Um, yeah, when he's he's not really answering Peter. Like, just little things. I was like, God, we all know. And And it's like, can you go... And uh, let them like go. Oh my god, I'm about. To, I'm oh, it's activating the waterworks now. I can't recite what he said. Uh, talk about, uh, but it was. See. But it was fa- a fantastic little uh, side mission, little slice of life in in New York in that time frame. And I love. They, talk, it. Was, they just say they just say Howard's wife passes away, but they don't say it's her fine. name. It's fine. It's not really important. But well, the. Uh, I think that was just handled very well, and no, all for that, sure. The right, Dave again, Fennoy's uh, voice, man, is always like, Fennoy, so like he's a master at what he does. Oh, he makes me cry at anything he does. Yeah, yeah. Walking Dead, fucking season fucking one, Lee. Mm-hmm. Um, we we've, we've been talking about some pretty hard stuff, Alex. So I do want to kind of mellow us mm. out before I get into some more uh hard stuff here. So uh, let's talk about gadgets. What's what's your favorite gadget? What was something that you kind of kept kept going back to? Did you do you even have a favorite one or is it yeah. uh, a couple? The one you the the pool one. The oh, you put yes. it on the floor, pulls oh, everybody in. Yes, the oh. web uh oh my god. Uh web grabber, I believe is what mm-hmm. it's called. Just throw it there. <laughs> what? Yeah, right? Dude, and I, I love I would... when you get that upgrade, everyone hits, and uh-huh. then a few seconds later, all the objects hit them. Like, oh it's yeah. very satisfying. Did that, and then I would do the symbio explosion and go Fah! Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. That was very, very satisfying to do. Mm-hmm. The uh, it was uh, um, mine was um, um, that one. And if I had to do another one, it probably would be the sound blasts because mm-hmm. they were so satisfying yeah. to do the symbiotes because like you could really feel like they were like taking a lot of damage when you would use them. And did you notice they give you a lot of more rep shooters in this one? I felt like I, I was able to use them a lot more. Yeah, I did too. Because in in that, I want to say they only give you like eight or ten, and in this one, it feels like you got like fifteen, right? Something like that. I don't yeah, know. like I was able to abuse like, it. I was constantly abuse it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. um, my one of my favorite combos, and I don't know if you have a favorite combo, Alex, but like I would web somebody, grab them, and throw them at the wall, or mm-hmm. I do the and then... yeah, yeah, or I would punch them up while they're in the air, web them up. And then do the whole triangle where you slam them on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then that webs them to the ground and they're out the game. Like, I, I don't know. Like, little combos like that where it involves, like, webbing them into a wall or something. I love doing. Mm-hmm. Love them. Yeah, uh, no, uh, favorite collectible? I don't think this box. has... Yeah, of course. I, 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 there's not really that many. Whereas in the first yeah. game... This no, collectible yeah. was everywhere. There's landmarks. There's this. There's the uh, backpacks. There's. I forgot there was fifty five of them. Did you know that? Oh, backpacks. Yeah, in the first game, fifty five. Yeah, nah. My wife just got them all. She did. She oh, did. Wow. That was the first thing she did in the game. She got all the backpacks because. Oh wow. And that's the same thing I did when I picked the game up too. I I wanted yeah. to hear the story, so I just went and got them all. Mm-hmm. Um, you remember the what was it? The nine hundred comic books in Amazing Spider Man two. They gotta bring that back. What are they doing? They need to bring back 900 comic books. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, maybe not 900, but like you actually got at least you actually got the comic book, though. No. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're going to make me do it, give me a comic book. True. The fact that we sat there and did it, though, I'm still surprised. Yeah. You tell me to pick up 900 things of one item. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It was a bit egregious. I think I'd agree with that. (laughs) Yeah, I but forgot it was the comics afterwards. You got the comic. It's it's hard to it's hard to disagree with that. Um, 
Let's see. Favorite collectible? Yeah, I think mine would be the Spider Buds too. I, I didn't didn't really jab. I just anything loved all the the designs and stuff. I did like. I know you you said you didn't, but I did like the bird mini game. I don't know. I don't remember what they were called, but you had to tra- uh, you had to chase them oh. in the air. You're talking about, um, yeah, the drones where you got to fly, swoop yeah, and yeah. fly. I, I liked it him because okay. I just I liked him because I liked learning why he was doing all those things. And it yeah. was and do you remember, of course, again, another example of like everything being very intentional, Um, his brother being the chameleon like that's. Oh, yeah, that was that that's was cool. cool. I, I mean, yeah. I didn't see that coming. No, I, I definitely didn't either. As soon as you go there and it's like, oh, it's the chameleon. And I was like, Whoa. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's everything else? I wanted to discuss about collectibles and all these things. So let's go. We discussed something. So very quickly, we'll uh I want to touch on um anti-venom. Something that was a very, I think, cleverly put as a way of giving you your symbiote powers back. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how they're gonna handle that and I assume they're going to do something and like put it away because I imagine this that's not going to show up again. Yeah. And if it does, it'll only be in it, DLC. Right? Yeah. We're not going to like keep using it in Spider-Man three. So I assume we're going to be using because I imagine the DLC that we're going to get, which I Alex, I thought this was interesting. If you remember in Spider-Man one, they announced the DLC plan and roadmap before the game came out. No such thing has happened with this game. So I found that I found that interesting. Mm. I wish I wish they did. I'm assuming they didn't have time to finish it. So yeah, we, we just maybe. don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, but one can assume the DLC would be about Carnage. I don't think that's too crazy. Uh, Yuri even kind of makes it feel that way, right? When she's when she's talking to you like, yeah, I'll get back to you with, with when one of my leads comes up because she's like researching about Cletus Cassidy and mm-hmm. and the cult and all these things and, and where he could be hiding. So it almost feels like she's being like, yeah, the, you know, this is the DLC, everyone. It's, it feels very intentional. So I do feel like that'll be kind of the first uh, time we come back to New York will be to chase after Carnage. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm wondering maybe with that, like once you get rid of Carnage, maybe you have to get rid of your symbiote. But yeah, the, I mean, maybe there's some sort of that's or you it. lose it in that fight or maybe, you know, something like that. Yeah, maybe you have to purge his symbiote by getting rid of yours. Yeah, because people are people are probably going to do the same thing. Like he'll lose it in the DLC, and then the next day be like, "Where, where's my symbiote stuff?" It'd be like it's like I the got, same thing with Yuri as Wraith. Wraith. It's like, yeah. oh, what happened? Yeah, yeah. To hmm, let's go to God. There was something on the tip of my tongue, and I just lost it. Must have not been important. Talking about Carnage, for, I, I did love that kind of reveal, though. And mm-hmm. I do love that it was cleverly put. I don't, you know, at no point do they screaming at you. I do think it's kind of no, creepy I that I wasn't expecting it at all until that moment. The, the moment he grabs it, I was like, "Here we go, this is carnage." Right before like, he clever, it, like like as soon as he was talking, and I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker!" And then uh, he opens the car, and they, they had the symbiote. I was like, "Wait." When did they get the symbiote? And I'm like, no, don't tell me. Yeah, it was. And then all he starts monologuing, bad. and then he grabs it, and then it changes to red. I'm like, there it is. It was awesome, so good. Yep. And, and, and then he very says, well "Carnage." Yeah, I'll bring Carnage. It's like, oh god, mm-hmm. it's cool. Very creepy that he got it right though. Like he prophesized demons would come, and they and he mm-hmm. had drew them, and they look a lot like the symbiotes. Uh, I was like, oh, that's kind of creepy. I don't like that. Him. Man, that's a good point. Maybe maybe something was talking. To, I don't know, maybe he's just insane. Who knows? Um, we actually had a disagreement about something, Alex. I did want to bring it to the table and see if we could hash it out in front of the achievers. Okay. At the end of the game, we find Peter kind of breaking it to Miles. Like, hey, you know, I kind of want to not be Spider-Man uh, for oh, a while. Now, what did you make of that scene? Because I did make it out a certain way. What do you think? Peter was saying there. I, in my head, when he says that Peter's putting up the mantle as Spider Man, he's not gonna worry about being Spider Man, right? Uh, I mean, like, just he's he's tra- he's he's transferring the baton to Miles to be like, hey, Miles says like, hey, I got this, I got all of it. Don't worry about it. Go be Peter for a while. Yeah. He does say for a while, but I mean, he could say be like, hey. He's like, if I ever need advice or help, 
you know, he's always there, but he's it's not being required. So I'm assuming Spider Man three. I'm assuming we're gonna be playing Miles. No, you and, then, you, three. and then and then, oh, and then, and then so Peter's sorry. gonna Go be ahead. a side character. Yeah, like as a side, like as a just in case. But mm. I, from what he, from what I took is Miles is the new Spider Man, like the Spider Man. There's only one. Peter's Peter. The old Spider Man has g- given it up for now. Or so I the think, so yeah. the way I took it is like maybe. 20% less than you did. Because in my mind, Mary Jane and Peter talked about balance and all these mm-hmm. things. So to me, it's like, well, are we are we balancing as in like you want to just be Peter because you haven't really been Peter since we've known you as a character? Because since we've been with Peter Parker in this universe, he never really has been Peter Parker. We meet him in Spider-Man 1 as a poor guy. He can't pay rent because he can't hold the job down because he's constantly Spider-Man. We kind of end the game with that still being the case, sort of. Uh, and I feel he, like that's why he was giving He's not giving it up, but he's just not worrying about being Spider-Man because he's done it so much. He's like, yeah, I don't really have to do it anymore. I got Miles, so why not just be Peter? Yeah, and that's that's why I'm almost inclined to agree with you in the sense that it may, it might be a long birth before he picks it up again, and then he'll pick mm-hmm. it up and and try a balanced approach, uh, which is a very funny enough a very Superman problem that usually is solved kind of quickly uh, in like the Spider Man lore. He learns balances rather quickly th- through Jonathan Kent, of course. Saying, you know, you can't be Superman all the time. You have to be Clark for a balance. You can't you can't save everyone. So you have to you have to make it make sense to yourself why you can't be everywhere at once. That's a very powerful thing. If you really think about it, if you really can save everyone, why shouldn't you? And I think that's a very mm-hmm. powerful thing to, of course, talk about when you're talking about someone like the character Peter Parker. Of course, we talk about great power, great responsibility in every single thing. So that being said. It is an interesting thing that we've gotten to the point where Peter himself is stating, I need to stop for a while. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm what I'm confused at. What does a while mean? Is he saying I need to take a break and I'll pick it up every week, every two weeks, every month? I, 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 I mean, I'm who... gone indefinitely until Miles walks up to me and says, I need you at yeah. this this place like i i don't know i think that's where it comes from to me i'm like he's putting it down until something's wrong with the city and miles is like i need you and that means he he puts it back on until then i don't think peter will touch the suit now i think what's interesting oh. and you can argue what is so doesn't that make it to where miles is just gonna be like peter right like because now he's going to pick up all of the responsibilities except some of it. So, like, what can't you argue that now Miles will be the Peter character? That's, that was all up to Miles. Was, I mean, Miles was the one that said, I got this. I got all of it. I'll take care mm, of it. So that was all he's taking. And he was mantle. already having and he was already having issues writing his paper and these things, although he eh, eh, actually no. I mean, he solved that by the end he, of the game. Yeah, he, he wrote he, it. He, he wrote it. He wrote it. That's a good point. Um, And he did resolve it with Haley, too. And I do like that. Uh, mm. First off, can I gush for a second for the Haley character? Oh, oh my she's god, so cool. she's so cool! I love it. I don't know why, I, but I was, I was immediately invested in their in their in those two relationships, and it's just they're so cute together. I love them. I love the little. Mm-hmm. I love that. The, I love that the uniqueness of 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 she's deaf, so they sign. I love the side again, the 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 attention to the quality. Mm-hmm. I love the little side quest that you play as her, and you can't hear, and it's it's all like kind of you know muffled. You're just walking around. You're talking through like signs, so you you know you're you're kind of like you, you don't really know what's going on. It's but you know I don't know signs, so I'm just kind of like reacting through like the subtitles and these things, and and she's walking, talking with everyone via signs, helping that artist and these things. I don't know. There was so much cool stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, and no, that, it's super cool. The fact that you even got to play as her, and it was and it was she was deaf, so you you don't hear anything. You just hear the. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like kind of like very, very noises. muffled, yeah, muffled, like yeah. feeling like you could feel vibrations. Yeah, pretty yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, it does kind of feel like I was like, oh, I wonder if this is like a subtle hint that this is his Mary Jane, which I know we know yeah, that that's, is. That's what I was. I, I know that's the what they're going for. But like it, it felt like this is like the confirmation of like. This is going to be his love interest. We're going to have, you know, they're going to have adventures together. Similarly to in this game where, you know, we play as Mary Jane with mm -hmm. uh, in place of Peter. By the way, something we have talked about Mary Jane se sequences. We'll get to that in a second uh, right after mm -hmm. I, I finish up with this. But they hate the character. So good. I want to see more of them. Uh, I actually that's if I had to say one thing, I was like, I wish they talked more. I wish I, I want to see them interact more. But I know. Inherently, this was a Peter Parker game with a side mm -hmm. of Miles. So I understand why we didn't see him all the time. But I do I do wish we saw a little bit more. But again, this is this is Peter Parker's game, it, it, you know. Yeah. So. And, and I do think we'll get a Miles Morales type game in the next year, year, two years. I assume Spider-Man 3 will be my, Miles is the main character. It's possible. Yeah. Too much money, though. I don't think I, I think they I think they definitely make another game and then three. I don't think they go to that, but Maybe. you could argue that the Wolverine takes that spot and there, and there is, I, that's and, what I'm assuming they're working on Wolverine right now. And, and then that and comes out and then Spider-Man three. And assumably they're almost done. They, uh, you could argue it might be ready by this time next year. Who knows? We'll see some no. more. Maybe hopefully. Yeah. No one really knows. I guess. Well, some people know, not us. Um, Mary, quick Mary thing. Jane. Oh, go ahead. Uh, before we, because I was trying to find it during we were talking about Carnage, oh, the yeah. the Colts, the Colts, uh, flame, the flame cult, like yeah, people, whatever, Colts of the flame, and the, yeah, the logo. I was trying to find the logo because I thought it looked familiar. It's a, it's a flame, but they almost make it to more. It's like it's kind of like curved, kind of like what the stone was for the symbiotes. Oh, they, they, it's it is kind of like a spiral. Yeah. So and I remember when we were going through the the crimson thing he was drawing the stuff and he drew the spiral. I thought at one point and I'm like, mm. did he actually see the symbiote stone? And maybe that, that sounds like my head. He was yeah. that he was talking to it. And that's why he was like, cause, and they, you know, there's carnage and of course there's other symbiotes like toxic and things like that. And I, I don't know if there's a leader, but, but I had to find the logo cause it was aggravating me. I couldn't yeah, find yeah. it. <laughs> it is interesting it was, that they did, they did, uh, Speaking of symbiotes, they did kill Venom at the end of this. Now, yeah, no, you, you can argue him, that that wasn't that was the you know big deal that you know that was the the major death you could say was Venom. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like we can just kind of logic that. It's, I feel like you could so easily write, uh, like, "Oh, the Venom was latent in Harry's blood." Well, again, so it's back. Remember like it, Venom's tongue at Craven's fight? Yeah. I can bring it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So who who knows? Um. If it really is dead, I assume it is. But I mean, you could easily write. Well, the fact reason. that Kalidas I'm Cassidy not... had a symbiote vial still, yeah, and then it changed to Karn, it changed to red. I'm assuming he's not the only one who has one. Yeah, and the, you imagine there's there may I be another one somewhere, right? Norman has a second one. Maybe, maybe we'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see because I don't think there was much mention of of other ones. Yeah. And that, I feel I like that know. was kept a secret from us, that that second one, because I don't remember anyone ever saying throughout the story, like, yeah, this is one of the samples, like one of or. or yeah, the I only don't remember. It, I don't even I don't know how Cletus got, uh, like Cletus got it. Yeah, they, he just said, I've been looking. I remember he came out and is like, yeah, this was a diversion. I needed a. Uh, did he say armor or something? He said, I think he said like armor or something. And then he puts in the bile, and I was like, "What?" Like, I was like, "How the?" Yeah. How, first off, I was like, "How the fuck did you get that?" <laughs> yeah, like, that's how I was like, "I didn't know how, he had how it." How connected like, are you, dude? Um. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Mary Jane. Um. Yep. The segments in this game were incredibly engaging, especially when you compare them to the oh, first sure. one, where you where you're like skulking around a fucking museum, and it's like, "Oh my god, can I please can I please be no. Spider Man?" And this one, I actually had a lot of fun. Yeah. As Mary no, Jane, I was I was running up to people with that fucking gun. The best Splinter Cell game we've gotten in 10 years. Yeah. Just put her in some green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put her in some green. Have three gold, green uh, eyes on her. The little helmet, yeah. Perfect Splinter Cell character. Anyways, yeah, the night I, vision, think them up. I don't have much else to add. I just, I do like that they're not afraid to kind of give you control of character. It's a very PlayStation thing, if you really think about mm -hmm. it. That's been their kind of thing, like, oh you get to control not the main character like oh yeah you know yeah. It, it's getting a little played out if i have to say so but 
I still enjoy kinda, my time. It's kind of it's kinda, um, expected now. Yeah, which is which could be an argument to not do it because it's becoming that's what I'm saying. Like, like, should they should they keep doing it because it's kind of Probably expected? And I was like, is it too, too much? Yeah, may, maybe they should give it a break. But also, it is a perfect way of being like, you know, this is the this could be a next game or something in regards mm-hmm. to something that happens in other games. I won't say in risk of spoiling stuff, but mm-hmm. uh, talk about uh, major. Oh, uh, let's talk about. I wanted to quickly bring up the post credit scene that we did not or. Was it pre credits? I don't remember. They were having dinner. Rhea Morales. Oh, Miles yeah. Morales. They were like, hey, you know, let's meet, you know, the boyfriend that Albert. I've been wanting to show you the yeah. whole time. And of course, that turns out to be Albert. Uh, that that, of course, not a very significant character at all. But he has a very important character in one called Cindy, which is, of course, Silk, which I know many people don't know, as I'm sure many people didn't even know Miles existed before these games even fewer people know who yes. Silk is. Cindy but Moon. Cindy Moon. And Silk is, uh, you know, just to put it plainly, she's a spider person. You know, it doesn't get really, you know, mm. too complicated with, with Silk. I think she's actually bitten by the same spider that Peter is, technically. And and I think, like, the canon version of her story. Like so the exact same one or same type? I, no, I believe it's the exact same one, weirdly. Uh, Doesn't it die? Uh, or I don't. I don't remember. I feel like that was a th- that was like a thing. I might have to read up on her. I, I don't know anything about her. She's yeah. She's no, cool that, not the. I mean, yeah. No one does. Don't worry about. It. <laughs> like no one knows who's in <laughs> it. It reminds me of like when people started freaking out about like Guardians of the Galaxy movies back in. I was like, no one yeah. knows who Guardians is. I barely know, and I'm actually reading the stuff. Uh, Alex, anything you want to quickly bring up? While we're here, we, I did touch on Cindy. I don't really have much to add. It was cool. It seems like they're kind of bringing up where they said it was like, oh, I'm writing the final chapter, of course, like hinting like maybe Spider-Man 3 is the last game. But we're introducing a new spider person. So is it the final game? I, you know, this is a big cash cow for Sony. So I can't imagine they're in a rush to end this. But Insomniac might be done making these games. So who really knows? Yeah. I don't. I honestly, Spider-Man 3 can end up having three spiders. We can have Silk, Peter, and Miles, all three, you know, do the whole thing. Um, that could be an argument for a, a middle game. Miles Morales centers around maybe uh, him teaching a protege in Silk or something. Oh, okay. I see. And then you so build up to yeah. a Spider-Man 3 of Silk, Miles. Yeah. I found yeah. the information about her, by the way, yeah. The story of her powers retcons a major element of Peter's origin. Yeah, there you go. I remember yeah, it being it a big says, deal. Yep, yep, it says it's implied that there was only one Cindy Moon's origin story. Is very same spider bitten on her ankle. <laughs> cool. For, wait, <laughs> on her anchor after falling off of Peter's hand that same day, they got bit the exact same time. Yeah, there we go. I remember it being weird. Yeah. Yep. What the hell? For the next thirteen years, she would reside in a locked bunker. Stocked with everything she would need to survive to prevent being found by Moreland, devourer of totems. What? Yeah, I don't remember any of that, but I remember the beginning stuff. <laughs> I don't remember wow, that. Oh, okay. Her that comic is pretty big. It gets wild. Yeah, it gets wild. It reminds me of I just, uh, this is completely unrelated, but I was, I was, uh, reading through some of the, uh, new X Men comics and it just gets so wild. We're getting yeah. into crazy territories. And I kind of want to read I love her it. stuff. That looks cool. Yeah, she's cool. She's a cool character. I, I like her. I like her stuff. I like her, her mm-hmm. thing. Uh, oh, um, let's see. Um, Anything stand out to you that you want to bring up? Of course, we haven't really discussed, like, do you have a favorite line that someone said? Maybe some. Uh, oh, I do uh, have one thing that I love. Yeah. The suits. Oh. The, custom, the, the amount oh. of suit customization that you, that you can get. They want the extra mile. I appreciate that. Uh, I every mission I had a different every suit mission. On. Every, every I was, mission. I was psychotic. Dude, I was constantly changing mission. suits. Oh, same. They must. They, they were like, why? Is, they were probably confused on who I was every time I'm going to a mission. They're like, are you still the same one? I why are you in different clothes? It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I I literally died laughing because there was a one point where uh, John Johnny Jameson literally says, "Why has he changed his suit?" Yes, like yes, he's talking yeah, about yeah, he changed yeah. his suit. He's like, yeah. he's like, why does he have time to change his suit? 
<laughs> yeah, and yep. Like this yep. is hilarious. It's hilarious because I know he was talking about the Venom suit. The Venom, but the in my suit. head, yeah, but in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It was after the white Venom suit. And he's yeah, like, yeah, why yeah. does he keep changing his clothes? And in my head, I'm like. I'm picturing J. Jonah Jameson like seeing me zip throughout New York every few days, all with different clothes. And he's like, how uh-huh. does he have so many? It made me I get a good chuckle out of that. No, uh, very same, good yeah. chuckle. That was that was one of the things. Mine, mine is a um the Craven death scene it is is kind of the spotlight for me with with how he says mm-hmm. like uh, death needs to earn me or whatever. I'm like, God, oh, that's so sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh something we haven't touched on yet, and something that's actually very surprising, not very PlayStation or Insomniac like. I had quite a few bugs. And by what I mean by that is <laughs> I, I had quite a few bugs in what a normal PlayStation game, PlayStation Studios game has, mm. which is normally zero to very few. I would I got around. If I had to guess six to eight bugs and about one crash two soft crashes about roughly. Uh, and it is very, very weird. And there's actually one bug that is like easily uh avail uh, like able to do which is like you turn into a literal white cube mm-hmm. I, I, that know, one. I know you've seen that one yeah and it happens I quite a bit after my bodiless craven not a headless craven bodiless craven yeah yeah you're wild i remember it's and it's on yep it's on the um look at uh, that video video <laughs> watchers can see right now that nobody. yeah it's craven with nobody during a very pitiful scene in the game by the way very important scene <laughs> very important scene he gets he stabs peter a few seconds after that <laughs> by the way My that God. was that was intense when he picks up peter and just mm-hmm. ah, and then breaks it off in him Woo! hardcore oh so you have so you can't dig it out easily so it's like really well, he, yeah because he stabbed pushed in more and then, and then snapped it. Snapped it. Yeah. Oh. And, and, you, and, and, and like, well, now what do you do? You can't like, you know, you can't. What are you can do? Like, poke your hands in there. Oh no, God. yeah, like so good. Oof. So good. Yeah. All that. I, and I love that he. Uh, I do love that Peter got his ass beat a little bit. I'm like, because it really did give like validation how he strong died. he was. Died. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He did kind of die, or at least got near the, death. The vet symbiote brought him back. At least near death. Who who knows if he near actually death. died? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, assumably he didn't, but uh, who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I probably, actually thought. I actually That's thought there was going to be a thing where, like, the symbiote was keeping him alive now. Mm. And that was going to be a big reveal. I th- I actually so thought that was where suit. we were going. Yeah, I thought, like, once it was taking him off, he would, like, start losing blood or something. And it was mm-hmm. the only thing keeping him like alive. The, or something. I, like the, I don't know. But I, there, like what they showed, but then it fell out. And I'm like, oh, okay. Then you should have left it in. Once, kinda like the, once it fell out, I was like, he's fine. I, like, yeah. I, I had no worry about the character anymore. I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, what did you think about? We didn't even talk about the rampaging nature of the Venom suit. I do like that it was actually. I did actually was a it little evolved. bit afraid like for Mary Jane. Yeah, and I do like. Yeah, I, it, it was cool that they made it like more symbiotic looking. And well, more like every as, like, like as the missions went on, you, yeah. you like it got like more and more like like ven- like one. It was called Venomized. the black suit, and then it became the symbiote suit. symbiote suit. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that they I did really I was really scared for Mary Jane in the scene, of course, oh, dude. in the uh, uh, tunnel, I guess is what that was. The tunnel uh, when she was hiding from Peter. Yeah. And she's trying she to like, like snap him out of it. And he's like he like almost t- gets it off and he's like, run. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And she's like like running, trying to get away. Yeah. I love that. She was so confident that she he'd yeah, she'd save him. She was like, Don't look back. Don't look back. Yeah. Oh, that was so. That was really good. I and I was worried that that was a really good handling of tension because I did actually was like, is he gonna kill her? Oh <laughs> my know? god! Imagine, imagine if he killed her. I, that's and and that's why I'm like, God, the the he boldness. Feel like he, I feel like he would have turned into Venom right there if he would have killed her. The boldness of 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 the storytelling of that decision would have been very Ooh. very interesting. It didn't happen, but it would have been very cool if it did. Cowards. <laughs> yeah coward kill mary j i actually was like i want him to so, take risks come so on so many so many spider-man stories are like and then mary jane and peter broke up again for the 75th time i'm like well at least in this one they're together at least yeah. in this one they're at least happy because oh, they had a fight it's becoming a joke in the like uh comic book spider-man fandom place where it's like 
it's just you constantly find uh, Peter not with Mary Jane and in this sad place and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm curious if that's it's, if that's going to change in this very sp- uh, situation. I imagine it will, because it does seem like this story gets a happily ever after, especially mm-hmm. with this game. Also, if you remember, this game was teased. I don't know. This is a very I've kept this in my brain this whole time when this game was first showed off. The director of the game, I'll get the names really quick. Um, I can't remember. I think it was Brian Intahart. The directors are both Brian Hintahart and Ryan Smith. The writers, Steve Ditko, Nick Fulman, Folkman, I'm sorry, and Rob Foreman. I believe it was Brian Intahart, I, I believe, who said, this is our Empire Strikes Back of the tri- of their of their games. Mm-hmm. Uh, n- n- I mean, I guess it kind of is, but, it, 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 but it's it, I don't know. That felt like it gave it more weight. Uh, it definitely is not an Empire Strike Backs because everything is just fixed at the end. So yeah. unless I'm not remembering and that's not this game, but I'm pretty sure it was talking about Spider-Man 2. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't at mm-hmm. all. Uh, unless we really gave Harry that much weight as a character, which I guess it kind of could be. But no, no, it wasn't. I'm just I, like, that was very I just don't know if I want to see him again as a villain. I was like, I don't know. If I see like, Harry I, again, I do want to see Harry. I don't want to see Harry as a hobby goblin man going like, I feel like and r- throwing fucking bombs at me. I, do you think it would? Do you think it would be a stupid decision if they actually kill Harry off next no. game and Norman will become Green Goblin? Oh, oh. I mean, like he's so pissed that, or whatever that he he takes the serum himself. Like, let's like, say he tried to give the serum to Harry, but it doesn't work and it kills him. And then he takes the serum instead. I that don't know why. Be, but... I think that would be bad writing because why didn't you just kill him to begin with? That would what? seem like they regretted not killing him then. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you think that like that? That's why I was like, do you think maybe they did? Uh, would they do that because they regret not killing him in the second game? I think that would show them as. I think that would be very bad writing. Okay. Uh, so I would hope they don't. I hope they have a plan. I, I hope imagine they don't do that because I was like, I just don't know what they would. Do I imagine they like... have a plan. And we and obviously we don't know it. And I'm, yeah. I'm 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 sure they I'm sure they got this. It's just the way again. It just I know we're kind of I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but just the way it ended, it just seems like such a like. All right, on to the next thing, you know. So it's, I'm it's hoping whatever safe. the next thing is has wait to it or something like that yeah, yeah and again it doesn't always have to be a death but like it's you know something has to something. happen M- maybe peter was hurt in some way during this i don't know i, I know he said yeah, he lost an arm i don't know <laughs> he lost an arm. He lost both his eyes i don't know lost his head who knows well if they're gonna keep somebody a villain keep them the villain i don't know i mean like, I don't I don't you think- can argue harry was never the villain it was venom right that's one of those weird things in this That's because true. so and again my wife was with me on this that one of the issues with the symbiote character is you can always write that, it off yeah. you can always write off what it's doing because you can be like well no the symbiote's making him do it and it's like to me that's a little lame because it's like i understand it's amplifying the character's darkest urges and desires but, but like it characters. just it's lame, but it's lame that you can just write it off like, well, I had the symbiote the whole time, so it wasn't really me, Mary Jane. Like, it's like, can we like, I don't know. It just feels like we should add a little more weight because now because Harry like coming out of it was like, bro, this ain't me. So you could argue it's not yeah. very symbiotic because there That's is true. no us in that situation. It's really only it uh, feeding yeah. off of it. And, you know, I think the point of it being called the symbiote is it's probably actually a parasite rather than a symbiotic mm-hmm. relationship. Uh, the only symbiotic nature is it is it, it literally needs the vessel. But, you know, you can almost argue it's more of a parasite than anything. And I, that's probably the point. But I do find it interesting. It's like, yeah, you know, Harry, Harry didn't ever never did any of this. So, you know, there's nothing wrong. And like, OK, well, we could have. You know, I don't know. It feels like we should give it some weight that he did any of this because it feels like he did no wrong throughout any of this. And also Peter, same way. It was like, well, it doesn't really feel like there was any. There was any repercussions for what either of them did, aside from fucking the whole city up. But like, are we really going to feel the city being damaged in the next game? I doubt that, right? Yeah, I don't know. 
Exactly. <laughs> Alex, as we slowly close this show, is there anything you want to discuss before we move on to Easter eggs? Mm, Easter egg me away. This is via IGN.com. There's a couple of fun ones. Uh, some, I, some I saw, some I didn't. Whilst the Wakanda Embassy has been a location in the previous two Spider-Man games, there's a unique interaction available in the Marvel Spider-Man 2. As Miles heads to the front door of the Wakanda Embassy in the Midtown District, you see a triangle prompt to honor, which will see Miles perform the Wakanda Forever gesture in a touching tribute to the MCU actor Chadwick Boseman. I caught this, actually, in a next Easter egg. And whilst this Marvel Spider-Man game focuses primarily on the Spider-Man corner of the universe, there are certainly other heroes existing in the world, um, but they don't make a physical experience. At the southwestern tip of Central Park, you'll find the Baxter Building, the base of the Fantastic Four. I actually found this, and it's a newly oh, no, painted. It's a newly painted four. So I was going on like uh, rooftops, cool. and I stumbled <laughs> upon this, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm oh. on the Baxter Building!" And it's literally a freshly painted four with it almost mm. not completed. Uh, it's very oh, cool. Interesting. I'm assuming everyone who's watching this knows this next one. Uh, Miles Morales has a bunch of suits, of course, but there is one called The Best There Is, which is, of course, a Wolverine quote and is the Wolverine suit for Miles Morales. You can have the four different combinations of suit, the default Miles Red, the X-Force Gray, and the classic yellow mm -hmm. uh, X-Men colors on both of that costume. What it doesn't say here, that is an actual reference to a comic book, and it's called. it was a what-if comic book. And it was what if Miles Morales was the Wolverine? It is a very, very good comic. I do recommend it. It is a fun what if. I do have a lot of fun with the what if comics. So go actually read that. I believe it was only five issues too. So it's a very short read. And I believe it's only about like 10 bucks, I think, altogether. And it's a very fun read of what if Miles Morales was Wolverine. Uh, a, a more obvious one, the Sanctum uh, Sanctorum was in this. Less yes. of an Easter egg and more of it was right in your face during the main mission. Okay, it was part of a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so not really an Easter egg, but I do want to bring up that that was probably the biggest spotlight of the game. I think uh, this is I really felt like where they wanted to show off some of the tech of their game. This specific point, and of course, in the beginning of the game with how big the Sandman fights and how much is going on. I think mm -hmm. they were very much like flexing what the PS5 can do. Mm -hmm. and, so, yeah, and no better way to show that. Me. And no better way to show that is when he grabs Peter and throws him. I think I think it was mm. Peter. I can't remember if it was Peter's Miles. It throws him across. No, no, it's town. Miles. It's it Miles. Miles. He throws Miles across. He throws yeah. Miles and all that. And everything loads perfectly in one beautiful section. Oh, my God. So so beautiful. You were saying something. Mm. Oh, no, I was saying, like, and especially when you're chasing Black Cat through the portals. It yes. reminded me a lot of uh, Ratchet and Clank when you're going through the portals it, and shit. It did feel like what I thought I was getting out of Ratchet and Clank versus what mm. I actually did. Like, I, I felt like I... In Ratchet Clank, it felt like I wasn't really going through like the portals, like I wasn't here. It felt like I was kind of like just going th through it, but no, no, yeah, the, yeah, the other you. side you was the exact same. Port. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, this so felt didn't, like a portal. This felt like a portal. This felt like when I went through it, I'm in a different side of the city, which yeah. I loved. I love that a lot. Oh, area, because like you went to a, like Antarctica or something. I one of the one of the that portals. was fun. Yeah, it was in Antarctica. She was like, yeah, and I was like at the fly. I was like, I can't swing here. Yeah, yep, yeah, that was so cool. I, I, I yeah. love that one. And, and uh, uh, again, another thing of like really just showing off like, yeah, no, we, we know the PS5 and this is how we're going to utilize its strength. The SSD, of course, uh, you felt mm. that if you ever fast traveled, I only fast traveled literally to get the sore trophy because I was trying to, to do the sore trophy um, mm. organically. I, it, it's not really possible to do unless you use the wind tunnel that's in the middle of the ocean, which is very lame. But uh, the, are you talking about to go from financial district to a yeah. story? Yeah, I, I was able to do it through the city. I uh, I couldn't find a route. There's a wind tunnel yeah. that goes from pretty much. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Where was it? It was pretty much straight diagonal through the ocean, straight to a stereo. Oh. And I was yeah, like, no, I didn't do that one. Yeah, it was so lame. So I was trying to figure out a, a organic way to get there. And I eventually yeah. looked it up because I could not find a way to get to Asterian. I was trying yeah. so many different wind tunnels, so many different routes, and I just yeah. couldn't figure it out. No, so you're able to get through the city. Yeah, no, I had to restart so many times. I think I did it eight times. And I was like halfway through, and then I fucked up. But like I, on Financial District, you start in the middle, and then you go. I went up, and I went towards the left. There was another, like, the the ones, the things that lift you up. Yeah, yeah. 
I used Eric yeah, Henry I used a couple right. of those, and then I went through another wind tunnel. And it took me more to the edge, and then it curved in, and then I finally was able to hit a wind tunnel, and then it finally went towards and I stopped right at the that island on Astoria that was like it was like the it was like separated, yeah, but it counted as Astoria. I was falling and I landed there and it gave it to me. I was like, oh, thank God. Wow. I couldn't figure it out. I, I know <laughs> yeah. exactly what wind tone you're talking about because I kept trying mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Yeah. Good on you. When Spider Man 2, uh, with Spider Man 2 taking place a year after the events of Miles Morales, you might expect that the city was fully recovered, but you're wrong. Not only can uh, you can find Miles and Finn's science trophy, which is technically also an Easter egg, on top Trinity Church in Lower Manhattan, you can see the remnants of Roxon Tower at the northern tip, which is very cool. And of course, the tower that was blown up in Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. uh, in a more bittersweet note, you can even find Rick and Finn's graves in the cemetery at Harlem at the uh, southern edge. Very sad. Kind of, I don't know, maybe cementing that she actually did die. They kind of left it ambiguous. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming she's gone. I, I did think we would get a hint of her in this game because I really like that character. Her, I mean, she exploded. I mean, we're in the comic book world, so I guess you can argue that the explosion powered her suit and it engulfed her and protected her. And it's all make believe. She could have had it could, it a, created, she could, it imploded, and created its own black hole. And she got transferred. Somewhere she else. could have had a teleporter on her and she hit the teleporter the moment the thing happened. It's all make believe. Uh, mm -hmm. In Harlem next, you'll note the awesome mural featuring both Spider-Man that you saw Haley working on at the beginning of my Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is completed. Which is very cool. Mm -hmm. I remember the moral she's working on, and it's all the and mm -hmm. and he asks like, "What about the other guy?" You know, it's very, very mm -hmm. good. There's smaller ones. There was the lockjaw statue, which I believe was in the first game, and then uh, so the Coney Isle attractions are all random references. Uh, the big Ferris wheel is named after the um, uh, it's apparently a villain. Hydro Punch is a reference to Hydro Man. Dazzler stage is a small tent pitched up with a dancer referencing Dazzler from the X-Men. And there's a bunch of other random things. Of course, Mysterio, Mysterio, a you, much more direct thing. Do you know if the Stanley statue was still there? Yes, it is still there. It was? Yep. Stanley statue that is at the very bottom. You can find that in the Upper West Side District, horizontally across the center of Center Park. Very Got good. Uh, interesting, Daredevil's gone. Players who explored the previous Spider-Man games may remember they could discover Nelson and Murdoch's plaque on a building in Hill's Hell's mm -hmm. Kitchen, suggesting these Daredevil characters ran their legal business from there. Interesting, in uh, Spider-Man 2, the plaque remains, but all text is gone, perhaps implying they have relocated elsewhere. And there is actually a notice on the uh, door as well, suggesting that it is vacant. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know... That is a hint or if they just left or they just didn't want to add anything there because they do have to um, rationalize why Spider-Man is the only superhero in New York when there are quite literally 20. When there's the Avengers Tower. Yeah. And the, they didn't even reference that in this game. In the first game, remember, yeah. they were like they joke. There was like, I think they're in the West Coast, which is a joke, mm -hmm. of course, on the West Coast Avengers. But they just don't even bring it up in this one. They're like, eh. Nothing. <laughs> Uh, Insomniac is written on the sewer grate. And of course, with the photo help mission, the picture that is on the newspaper is the recreation of the very first uh, Spider-Man comic That's where cool. he was featured in Amazing Fantasy at number 15. Of course, not a technically Spider-Man comic, but of course, where he debuted. Uh, let's see. And Madripoor is also written somewhere. The fictional Southeast Asian island Madripoor is referenced in a data log during the bad guys on the block main story mission. Whilst some will recall the location hmm. from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it's more commonly known when comic fans of the city where Wolverine finds himself most of the time. So it could be a little hmm. hint uh, that we could be in Madripoor in the events of Spider-Man. Possibly. Who knows? Alex. That's pretty much everything I want to discuss about Spider-Man 2. We talked about pretty much everything, right? Uh, I, I do love that we immediately found Peter Parker with a job and he lost it within the first 10 minutes of the game. Very funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't think he would get fired, but he immediately did. I guess he did technically leave them during um, a giant emergency. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's he was ha- he went to go help Miles and then everybody I guess evacuated the building and he was missing. So looks bad. You yeah. abandoned the students. Now I don't know what I don't know wh- I don't know. It's not important. Um yeah. I mean, we pretty much covered everything I want to discuss. Any lasting messages, anything lasting about the game? This again, I want to reiterate, I love this game, but that's why my criticisms are so uh, serious about the game, because that's how much I love it. I I really do think this was a fantastic game. I think this was literally an improvement in every single way, except the end, the the end of the of Act three, I think was just yeah. Not, not. I think they not, were just a little too safe. A little too safe. A little too safe. Which is funny because I remember people complaining about Spider-Man One being too safe, and I was like, eh, I don't know. They killed him. May. I yeah, feel like that's a pretty no, big deal. Safe at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 to be fair, it is Aunt May. She's already a hundred and seventy-five. So I mean, yeah, you know, she's going regardless. But yeah, the scene is what evoked such weight. No, for sure. Versus, I mean, her dying casual yeah. death versus her somebody, you know. And She's Spider-Man dying, having a handling in her dying as well, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he could have saved her. His indirectness killed her in a way, but of course... He had to know, choose. It was it was for the greater good, so it's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying, that is what happened. He did have a hand in her dying. Funny enough. Alex, thank you for joining me. This was a great Always. spoiler cast. Remember, we come to you every well, we I come to you every single Friday about the Easy Chiefs Gaming Podcast. Normally, this is a spoiler cast, of course, for the Spider-Man 2. These are irregularly posted as we finish these games and make spoiler casts about them. Next up. Mm, I know what it is. What is it? Alan Wake. Oh, Alan Wake 2. That is. Well, it's midnight for us right now, so it's actually two days away. Two days. Two days away. It is I get two I, I days think... to binge the hell out of Naruto. Yes, you get two <laughs> days of Naruto. I get two days of Armor Court 6. You're, oh, yeah, I, you're, you're liking it, huh? You picked it I back am. up and you're enjoying it a lot. I did, I did. Completely unrelated to what we're talking about. I'm going to quickly talk about <laughs> Armor Court 6. I picked it back up <laughs> days, Spider-Man. days before Spider-Man 2. Because I talked to you, Alex, and I was like, do you think I could finish it? And you're like, yeah, probably. It's not a long yeah. game. I picked it up. I beat it within almost a day. Pretty you much like a day. That game. Like I, I was able to. I was. I mean, I was in. I was like halfway through chapter two, I think, mm-hmm. or something like that, and I beat it uh-huh. in. You were in chapter two. I was like, dude, you're not even halfway through the game. I was like five or six hours, and then I beat it or something like that. And mm-hmm. right now, I'm getting all the. I don't know if you remember Alex the combat logs to level up my guy, get new parts and these things. So I'm yeah. doing that, and then after that, I'm gonna beat the game, get the other ending. And then I'll see if I want to do other stuff. I probably won't. I probably won't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> After that, because I don't think I'm good enough to S rank every mission. I don't. I don't think yeah. I want to put myself through that. Although it seems like a fun challenge, I don't. I don't think I want to sit there and try and S rank every single mission in the game. No thanks. Anyways, thank you for joining us. We'll see you for Alan Wake Two. Maybe Assassin's Creed Mirage. We we beat that, but we haven't done a spider cast about it. It wasn't very yeah. good. Let's be honest with us. But so and if that's if that's interesting, you just let us know in the comments below. Tweet at me at yeah. Eman Thousand. Until I see you. Love you. And again, go chief. Go chief.